So I'm gonna come out of holster. I'm not, I'm not trying to be fast, just trying to get a good. <laughs> it was like butter, bro. It was like butter with the tactical pontoon trigger, man. Let's let's do it again. All right, y'all. So we out here in the range, man. We got everything set up. Ah, got the target set up. This is gonna be the range, range day portion of the tactical pontoon trigger system. First shots, I'm gonna be shooting from about right here. As you can see, the first target is about, the first target is about 15 yards away. Uh, yeah, about 15 yards away. It's a bad boy right here. It's about 15 yards. Then the second target, it's about 25 yards. 25 yards out. I'm trying to focus on that. And then the third one, it's about 50 yards out. It's way the hell out there as you can see, man. 50 yards, so if I can focus. So, zoom back in. So these are the targets right here. Like I said, it's going to be the 15 yarder, 25, and the 50. That's today's episode. What's going on everybody it's your boy stats are silly and today we're gonna be out on the range with the tactical pontoon triggers we got these bad boys right here i'm gonna be trying out the excommunicado on the glock 23 peacemaker on the glock 43x all right so kicking this off i'm gonna take my first shots with the glock 23 it feels super nice it feels good that flat face trigger just feels super nice just feeling it it kind of feels like my shadow systems so this is gonna be the first shots and we're gonna try this out today and see how it goes this is gonna be my first time shooting the glock 23 with this trigger system on here the last time i've been in the range has been about two to three weeks now since the last since the last time i've been on the range so i haven't have any warm-up i haven't done any dry fire i literally came out set up everything and these are going to be my first shots and i haven't shot the glock 23 the, which is in 40 cal i haven't shot this in a while man like i can't remember the last time i shot it it's probably like honestly last year was the last time I shot the Glock 23. So that's how long it's been since I shot this 40 cal. It's the same size as the Glock 19. It's the same size as my Glock 19 holster. I got my shadow systems right here. Everybody knows that the shadow system is basically the same as a Glock 19 and the Glock 23 is in there and it fits in the same holster, man. So the Glock 23 is exact same size as the Glock 19s and if it, they fit in the same holster, but even though it feels the same, the Glock 40 is gonna be a little bit heavy because of the because of the ammo. It's been a while since I actually shot the 40 cal, so I haven't, I'm not used to the recoil. It's been a while, I'm used to the nine milli recoil. So hey, bear with me, man. I have the shot timer today. The first couple of shots, I'm just gonna just do a couple of shots just to like, just to warm up. Then I'll turn on the part time and see what my part times are, man. So the goal of today is not really to set any records. I'm not trying to be the fastest man alive right now. I'm just literally working on my fundamentals. It's been a while, like I said, and see what my times are. Disclaimer, my first excuse right out the gate. So I cut my finger a couple weeks ago and it's already kind of healing. It's still sore when I bend it and it's right here in the knuckle. So I don't, I'm hoping when I draw, I might, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna bump it up when, when I draw and it's probably gonna hurt. So that's probably gonna affect my speed a little bit because I'm not gonna try to go too fast because I don't wanna, I don't wanna activate this thing again because I need my hand at work i need to be able to you know defend myself i need to be able to, to shoot my weapon comfortably so i'm uh this might affect my speeds a little bit because i'm probably not going to be going as fast because i don't want to irritate my finger man but anyways that's my first excuse out the window let's get to yeah. shooting like so the first target is 15 yards away most self-defense situation is going to be between three to five yards but this is a normal training distance i like to train at 15 yards because if you can hit a target at 15 yards then you can hit a target at five yards all right, so here we go. No, no shot timer. It's gonna be my first shot. The Glock 23, which is in 40 cal. Oh, I can't find my dot. Let me turn up my dot real quick. There it is. All right. Make sure you have your red dot set, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah. 
took me a while to find the dot. It's been a while since I shot the Hollison. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do that again. Let's try to get another warm up real quick. That one, I believe, it looked like it was off to the left. All right, I'm gonna do the par. That was two seconds. Let's try it again. I missed that one, I jerked the shot. That was 1.9. That was 1.9, I jerked it though. Let's try it again. I can feel the trigger guard, I can feel the top of the trigger guard rubbing against my knuckle and it's already starting to feel sore with the 40 cal a little bit. Let's, tr let's try it again. Oh, that was a 1.8. 1 1.9. 1 that was a 2.2, .2. I fumbled with the shirt. 1.6. One point seven, fumbling with the shirt again. I have the beeper set for two seconds, so I have to take that shot within two seconds. That was a one point eight. That was a one point four. That was a good draw. One point five. I had to I had to bring the dot back on target on that one. I'm not used to this hollow sun red dot. I haven't shot it for a while, so I'm adjusting. It's not the same as an RMR, so I have to like angle it a little bit more. Gotcha. All right, so now I switched out the guns. I'm gonna be shooting the Glock 43X. This is gonna be my first time shooting the Tactical Pontoon Peacemaker Trigger Shoe. This is gonna be my first shot with it, man. I haven't shot it. Make sure she's loaded up. I'm shooting the Blazer 115 grain full metal jacket ammo, man. So nothing special, nothing too hot. So this is gonna be my first shot with the Glock 43X with the Peacemaker trigger shoe. All right, here we go. Now I gotta get used to the Glock 43X grip angle now. <laughs> that was a 2.1, horrible. That was a little bit better, it's a 1.8. Ah, right off to the, the top right, 1.7. My draw is, with this one, it's gonna be slower. It's a smaller gun, so it's deeper into my waist, so I gotta get used to that grip angle. I gotta get used to, you know, getting it. That's why I prefer bigger frame guns, because I can get to them faster, I can get to them easier. These smaller guns, I have to get used to, I have to get more down in there and come up. So I'm gonna be a little bit slower with the Glock 43X than with the Glock 23, as you can see, it's a bigger frame gun. So smaller frame guns, I'm gonna be slower and my hand is actually digging into the front, uh, the holster a little bit. On this one, there's the bottom of the holster by the magwell. I, I, my finger hit it all the time, man. So I know that's like slowing me down a little bit because it's hurting, but no excuse. I'm gonna try to get 1.3 with the Glock 43X, man, because we'll see, man. My fastest time so far has been a 1.4 with the Glock 23, man, a 40 cal. So I'm gonna try to get 1.3. That's, that's the time that I'm trying to get to. I jerked that one. 1.4. 1.6. I hit my finger right here somehow when I went to get on the frame. And my finger is starting to get sore, man. It's starting to starting to peel a little bit because I keep hitting it on the frame. I just don't want it to start bleeding again. 1.8. I was fishing for the dot in that one. Ah, I hit my finger in that one. <laughs> 1.5, 1.5, man. Oh, I was fishing for that one, 1.7. 1.5. 1.6. Oh, fuck. I was on that one, man. 1.3, man. Oh, man, if I hit the target. <laughs> it was 1.3. All right, let's, let's see if I can do that one again. 1.5. Yo, I keep banging my knuckle on this damn holster, man. Oh, man. Oh. It's, it feel like it's gonna start bleeding, man. Ah, Lee. That was 1.5, though. Yeah, I should've put a Band-Aid. I think I got a Band-Aid. You know what? 
I think I got, oh, no, you know, you know what? I got a band-aid. Let me put a band-aid on, wrap this up real quick, man, because I don't want this to start bleeding, man, and it's, it's starting to hurt a little bit. Let me go ahead and I'll pause this so I can put a band-aid on my boo-boo, man. Why? That's why it's always good to have a first aid kit with you, man. Especially on the range because you never know. You never know um, if you're going to get an injury or, of course, if you need, if something happens, there's an accident, you know, gun, something happens with the gun malfunction, gun exposure or something, or somebody gets shot or bullet ricochet or something, man. It's always good to make sure you have your med kit with you, man. I'm just going to cover this up and hopefully this is going to... Oh, man, I can't bend my finger now. Holy crap. Oh, I put it too tight. Man, that shit hurts. When I try to bend my finger with the band-aid, it freaking hurts. But I don't know if the band-aid is, it's still, I'm still going to bang it up. But I'm hoping that it's going to prevent it from the holster, like pulling the scab back and making it bleed. I don't want to be bleeding. But I don't know, man, I might not be able to do my, my, my speed drills with, because this, this, this shit hurts. And I put the band-aid on here and when I bend and try to grab, it just, it hurts. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be a little bit slower out the holster. But I'm going to try a couple more. I'm going to finish this mag with the time and then we'll just shoot multiple targets and just get the shooting. Why do I have to worry about drawing from the holster too much, man? Because my finger, my finger is killing me right now, man. It's throbbing. All right, let's get back to shooting. Remember, I'm trying to get to 1.3 and hit the target. I made 1.3, but I missed. I was just off to the left just a little bit. So I want to get 1.3 and actually hit. So let's go ahead and let's do this again. I was fishing for that one, 1.8. I felt good, I felt good. 1.5. Woo, 1.4. 1.38, We finally did it. <laughs> 1.38, I don't know if you guys are gonna see it or not, but 1.38. That's what I wanted to accomplish today. I wanted to just get uh, good on 1.3. I would do some more. Let me, matter of fact, let me finish this magazine and let me see if I can do 1.3 just to make sure that wasn't a fluke. So let's go ahead and just do it again. You know what? Because I know some people are going to be like, oh, that was the first time that was a fluke. All right, let's try to do it again. All right. 1 1.5. 1.27. 1.27. 1.35. So I'm getting, I'm getting used to it, I'm getting used to it. 1.33. So just so you guys see, it ain't no fluke. 1.27 again, that's my fastest time on the range all day. 1.2 second, 1.27, and that was the second or third time I did 1.27. 1.39 and I fumbled out the, I fumbled out the holster a little bit. 1.22 1.22 all right man so that's it for the getting out of holster i've proven that i can hit the target on the 1.3 consistently it's not a fluke like i said my finger is a little bit sore it's jammed up i put a bandit on my boo-boo that probably helped a little bit because it's, it's cushioning where it hits a little bit but it's still hurting it's still sore when i bend my finger i can't i can't bend my hand in a fist completely like it, it hurts really bad so i don't want to push it so i'm just i'm not going to tie myself coming out of holster anymore i'm just going to just hit multiple targets and just get some shooting in with the tactical pontoon trigger so i can tell you guys what i feel about this trigger system man all right let's get this shooting oh first i gotta reload some mags so i got the camera set up behind me i'm gonna be shooting multiple targets i'm gonna try to stand where um, in between the targets so you guys can see so I got to stand up about right here when I turn back around So and I'm just like I said, I'm gonna be shooting with the tactical pontoon peacemaker trigger This is the first range day me shooting with it and so far it feels pretty good It feels pretty smooth and I feel like I'm a little bit faster and a little bit more accurate Not using the Glock stock trigger and using the tactical pontoon peacemaker trigger man So this is my on duty in a police matter backup pistol this is my backup pistol in case something happens to my main pistol this is my backup gun right here if something happens i need to get to my backup gun i need to be able to shoot i need to be able to be accurate i need to be able to be fast with this weapon you will be surprised how many police officers carry backup guns and don't touch that gun all year but they're carrying it every day on duty for backup but they don't practice and train with it man so i want to make sure that it shoots good it shoots fast it shoots accurate and i'm going to go ahead and shoot multiple targets the first target off to my left 
it's about 15 yards the second target is about 25 and the one in the middle way out there that's about 15 yards so that's what we're going to shoot man so let's go ahead and get this this shooting going man all right so i'm going to start from a low ready all right let's go The recoil is rubbing against my knuckle and it's hurting real bad. I want to shoot fast, but every time I pull the trigger, I'm like, oh, <laughs> it hurts, man. So like I said, my booboo on my finger is really affecting my speed. So I really can't shoot fast and I can't really do anything impressive right now because my finger hurts every shot. I feel every single shot with it, man. But if I'm going to be working with this injury, I still got to shoot my gun. So I got to, I just got to work through the pain, man. All right. I'm going to try to go for the 50 real quick. I'm going to try to go for the 50. No one felt like it was a little high. Oh, I think I hit it. I just didn't hear it. Because it's kind of windy out here, so I can't really hear it too good. Yep, it's getting hit. 50. Those 50s are hitting, man. Why is it not locking back, bro? <laughs> Why is it not locking back? All right. So the 50, good hit, good hit on the 50. Oh, I jerked that one. There you go. Man. This, this, this injury hurts, man. This injury hurts. I don't know why it's not locking back. I think, I think, all my, I think because of my injury, the way how I'm gripping it, I'm gripping it kind of weird because it hurts. So I'm like kind of gripping it. And I think my grip is, uh, hitting the, the slide release, slide stop. So I don't know, we'll see. It hasn't locked back for me all day today. So we'll see what's up. Also, one thing about the Glock 43X is that it's smaller, so it's a little bit more snappy. It's super snappy, so it's bouncing around in the palm of my hand. So I'm trying to find, like with my injury, see where my hand is, it's rubbing. You see where the, the injuries on my knuckle? It's rubbing right there by the trigger guard. So every shot I take, it's just, I just feel that polymer digging into my cut, man. So it hurts. Every single shot hurts. So, but I'm going to try to tough, tough through it, man. Honestly, so far, the trigger feels smooth. It, trill, it feels really nice. The flat face feels really, really good. It's just something about a flat face trigger, man. If you haven't shot a pistol with a flat face trigger yet, you don't know what you're missing, man. Go out, get you a tactical pontoon, peacemaker, or whatever variety of tactical pontoon triggers there is, man. Or even if it's not tactical pontoon, but I'm going to support my boy. I'm going to tell you right now, tactical pontoon has the best feeling triggers for the price on the market. You're not going to find a more quality, accurate, smooth feeling trigger for this price on the market, man. I'm telling you right now. And if you do, it's going to be trash. It's going to be, the quality is going to be trash. It's not going to be good quality. It's not going to feel good. I promise you, man. Tactical pontoon triggers is where it's at, man. The quality is just on point, man. I'm going to try to get a double tap with the tactical pontoon peacemaker trigger shoe with a Glock 43X, which is super snappy. You guys know anything about Glock 43s, man? Glock 43Xs, they're super duper snappy, bro. So I'm going to try to do a double tap. I'm gonna try to do a double tap with it, with the Peacemaker trigger, man. It was hard for me to do double taps with the factory Glock trigger with it because it was so snappy and then the trigger was just so horrible. So if I can do clean, consistent double taps with the Peacemaker trigger shoe, that's gonna tell you right there that the trigger helps with accuracy and it just helps with you being able to just take that shot and be accurate and smooth with it, man. All right, so I'm gonna try to double tap at 15 yards. Let's see if I can do it, man. So I'm gonna come out of holster. Concealed carry, come out. I'm not trying to be fast, just trying to get a good. <laughs> it was like butter, bro. It was like butter with the tactical pontoon trigger, man. Let's let's do it again. <laughs> hey man, the tactical pontoon trigger, man. I'm doing double taps at 15 yards with a Glock 43X that doesn't have a comp on it. It's not compensated, man. This is a regular, basically stock Glock 43X minus the trigger. You know what I'm saying? That's the only upgrade I have to this thing is the trigger. And I can do double taps accurately and consistently with the technical pontoon peacemaker trigger, man. <sighs> Bro. All right, y'all. 
All right, so we are about to run through a couple more rounds with the Glock 43X. You know what I'm saying? Just to get some practice in, just to get some more shots in. And then after I run through the Glock 43X, which have the tactical pontoon peacemaker trigger shoe, we're going to shoot the, the, the x the condo juiced up by tactical pontoon with the 40 cal. See if I can run the 40 cal and get some double taps with the 40 cal also, man. So tactical pontoon peacemaker trigger shoe. Let's go. Twenty-five. Ah, I'm out. I wonder why it's not locking back for me, man. I don't know what's going on, man. It's not locking back. I don't like that. All right, twenty-five, twenty-five. Let's go. All right, let's go. Let's see what's up. Fifty. Going for the fifty. Ooh, hit. Hit, hit, hit at 50, super accurate, man. Yeah, see my hand is, is uh, hitting the slide stop, that's why it's not locking back. Yep, I already knew it. All right, so now we about to change our holsters, if I can get this damn holster off. And we're gonna go ahead and shoot the Glock 23 and 40 cals. I'm going to see if I can get some double taps with it. I'm not going <laughs> to shoot too much, man. I'm just going to shoot a couple mags through the Glock 23. I want to continue to do testing on triggers. But yeah, so now I'm going to be shooting the Glock 23, which is a 40 cal round. And I'm going to be using tactical pontoon, juiced up, excommunicado trigger system, man. Full trigger system, trigger bar and everything. I'm going to see if I can do a double tap with the 40. Yeah, like I said, the 40s a little bit more, it's a little bit more kick. But I feel since it's the bigger gun, since it's like the size of a Glock 19, I feel like I can control the 40 more than I can control the Glock 43X in 9mm just because of the size difference. So I'm going to see if I can do some double taps. So the grainage on a 40 cal is 180 grains a 40 cal so it's a little bit it has a little bit more thump than a 9 milli so if i can do a double tap at 15 yards with the 40 cal with the excommunicado trigger system man that's juiced up by tactical pontoon it's because these these are uh, these hair phones man i can hear everything and i swear i heard somebody whistle at me behind me man it was kind of weird but anyways if i could shoot double taps consistently with a 40 cal glock 23 consistently with a tactical pontoon juiced up excommunicado trigger system then you know the trigger system is fire bro come on our holster all right ready let's do these see if we can do these double taps man on target Woo. all right there you go i just <laughs> So because of how I'm gripping the gun because of my injury, I hit the mag release button, man. <laughs> all right, like I said, this injury on my hand is making me hold my gun all types of weird, man. So all right, let's try this again. I was about to get a good double tap too. All right, let's do it again. All right, here we go. Oh, that hurts, man. Shit, that hurts. There you go. Oh, man. I'm trying to do double taps for y'all, man, but that shit hurts, bro. Holy crap. Oh. All right, no more double taps, man. I can do a double tap with the Glock 43 or the Glock 23 and 40 cal, man, but it hurts, man. It, it freaking hurts, bro. Every shot hurts. I'm holding a gun all weird, and I'm dropping the magazine because I'm holding it weird because I'm trying to avoid that thump. But you know what? Let's see if I can hit that 50 order, man. Let's see if I can hit that 50 order. Yeah, it's shooting, it's a little bit low. Yeah, see, there you go. I'm sorry, man, that shit hurts, bro. God damn. Every shot I take, the double undercut just, it's just digging into my knuckle, bro. Holy crap, it hurts, man. It sucks having an injury on the joint of your middle finger where you grip your gun, man. Every freaking shot hurts, bro. Especially with the dump of the 40 cal. I'm feeling every piece of these 180 grains, man. Holy crap. Sheesh. All right. Man. All 
All right, but anyways, man. All right, so what do I think about these triggers juiced up, souped up by Tactical Pontoon Man? These are awesome triggers, bro. These are awesome, awesome triggers. The Peacemaker trigger is dope. The Excommunicado trigger system is dope. It feels good. If my finger wasn't hurt, man, I would be lighting these things up, man. Every shot hurts, especially with the 40. Every shot I'm thumping, I feel it. It's like, it feels like somebody just slamming into my finger, man. Every shot with the 40 cal. It was hurting with the 9, it was hurting more with the 40 cal, man. So I'm not going to be doing a lot of shooting, a lot more shooting, man. That's it for the day with these. The Peacemaker trigger system, man. Even though the Glock 43X is super snappy out the box, Add in a good trigger system, such as the Tactical Pontoon Peacemaker Trigger, it's going to make you more accurate. You're going to be able to shoot it faster. The reset is shorter, it just feels smoother, and it feels more accurate, man. And it just feels good in your hand when you shoot it. When you put your trigger finger on this trigger, it feels good. On any one of these triggers, man, you put your trigger finger on any one of these triggers, and it just feels good. That trigger safety is just like butter. It's like... It's like it's not even there. It's real responsive and you feel it when you first pull the trigger and then when you put the trigger back to the wall and then you break that shot, it just feels super smooth, super awesome, man. Should you buy, should you invest? I don't want to say buy. Should you invest in a tactical pontoon trigger system for your guns, man? Whether it's a carry gun, duty gun, Gucci gun, whatever gun you got, man. Is it a good investment? Hell yeah. Hell yes. It's, this is an awesome investment. Is, are these triggers worth it? Yes, they are. Should you worry about these triggers? No, you don't. Should you worry about the quality of these triggers? No, you shouldn't. Are they worth it? Yes, they are, man. Should you invest in one of these triggers? Yes, you should. Not because James is a good buddy of mine. Like I said, if they were trash, I would be like, yo, these triggers are trash, James. These triggers are not it, bro. Go back to the drawing board and try again. But I'm telling you, these triggers is worth every cent every dime every penny that you spend on these triggers they're worth it man so do not be afraid to go out and invest in tactical pontoon triggers i'm not going to scare you guys i'm not going to try to shield you guys some bullshit i'm gonna be a hundred percent one thousand percent real with you guys man these triggers are where it's at the tactical pontoon peacemaker trigger in my glock 43x have me out here shooting double taps consistently with a snappy glock 43 this excommunicado trigger system in my glock 23 which is 40 cal have me out here shooting double taps. I couldn't shoot a lot because like I said, I already mentioned my injury, but I can shoot consistent double taps with a 40 cal, 180 grain, full metal jacket rounds, man, with this x Medicado trigger system, man. So it's worth every single penny, man. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for checking us out. Make sure you guys like, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys turn on the bell notifications so you guys get notified every time we drop another banging video, man. But until next episode, man, remember, always be greater than you were yesterday. We live to train because we train to live. Come out here in the rains, learn how to shoot, Learn how to protect yourself. Learn how to defend your family, man, because you are your own first responder. 911, police, sheriff, state trooper, ambulance, fire department is not going to be there. That very second your life is in danger, man. So you have to be your own first responder. You have to learn how to defend yourself. Learn to protect your family, man. Until next episode, man, it's your boy. Stats aren't silly. We out, man. Peace.